Welcome back to Food Trends TV. I am everyday innovator Dana McCauley. Today we're going to talk about hard cider. For over 2,000 years people have been fermenting apples and drinking the yummy juices that result from that practice, but recently they've been doing it way more often. For instance, last year in the U.S. production and consumption of cider doubled. And here in Ontario, Canada, where I live, where in 2008 there was one artisan cider producer, in 2015 we have 19. So why? What's going on? Why all of a sudden cider? Have we run out of beer? Have we run out of wine? No, not at all. In fact, we've got more and more of that to choose from as well. But what is at play is that uh, people have rediscovered local and they've rediscovered doing interesting things with local foods and that's made all the difference. So instead of buying a Pinot Noir from France, um, a lot of people are like, hey, let's see what we can do with these apples. And they're creating really delicious, really wonderful uh, local products that are being enjoyed by a lot of different people. Artisan Cider is a logical offshoot of the craft beer trend and you see a lot of uh, very similar challenges facing the craft brewers and the cider makers. So the cider guys are really learning a lot from the people who came first with the craft beer. What's interesting to me is that some of the really big companies like Molson are getting in on the cider game and I think that's because it's a slightly more democratic drink than beer. Uh, and what I mean by that is that for beer drinking uh, we've got 70% of the consumers being male whereas with cider you've got 50% male, 50% female. So I think these big companies are seeing a great opportunity to grow their market and get new customers. So tell me, what do you think about cider? Would you substitute a cider for a glass of wine or a glass of champagne? Or are, is it just an, a supplementary drink for you? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you have a chance, please subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode of Food Trends TV.